2018, the amazing year I got connected with Chu Dang, my Vietnamese lover, and I'm sure I've known her in many past lives before. And uh, we are now um, looking at some of the videos of the year. Um, some of these are just uh, little goofy things I did. And I just want to show some of the things I've been looking at in terms of uh, YouTube videos. Now here we got stuff on uh, David Ick. He's kind of interesting. We've got the pyramids here. A lot of meditation stuff, of course. The secret numbers 369. Uh, universe here, why it was fine-tuned for life. I've been watching a lot of them on the JFK assassination. Uh, Nikola Tesla is always good. Um, stuff with the, uh, what happened with the moon, the fact the moon, I guess, is artificial. It's not real. 9-11 um, things. I try to avoid the Trump stuff as much as possible. It pops up every now and then, as you can see his name. I, I can't totally avoid it, but I do my best. But it just seems like it's it's out there a lot. But Adi Ashanti, he's a great spiritual teacher I've just discovered recently online. Very down-to-earth guy that makes uh, a lot of it very uh, simple to understand. And uh, But I find, you know, this Sophia, the crazy robot that you know, wants to take over humans. I don't know. Alan Watts is always good. Noam Chomsky I like. Um, Stanley Kubrick, I've seen some good videos about him. And David Bowie, I always enjoy um, you know, anything the, of interest on these guys, rock stars that I've enjoyed. Oliver Stone, of course, uh, well known for that series, Untold History. Um, Astral Travel, Lucid Dreams, I'm interested in that sort of thing, of course. Um, over here, let's see, we've got Moon Hoaxes again. I've seen quite a few of those recently. The Sufi John Stevens Christmas thing was fabulous if you ever... Uh, want to check that out for next year maybe now <laughs> and Nikola Tesla decoding 369 here was a great thing on how to fall asleep immediately in just a few seconds uh, kind of works I gotta say I tried it uh, I was part of my family back in Nashville love that gang um, this was my uh, a sweetheart and family making her, her sister Kim Fung made a delicious meal uh, had my little Christmas shirt on there and as you can see, we get back here to some of these uh, third eye chakras, the veterans. I guess I've seen some things on the vets recently. Some uh, stuff on the universe, of course. Pet sounds. Beach Boys always love their stuff. Uh, the Beatles pop up quite a bit. I've seen some stuff recently on Paul uh, being not being dead and being dead. Both views. Uh, some Vietnam uh, videos here I've seen lately. Um, oh, wow. Let's see. I'm saying uh, a lot, so I'll try to stop doing that and just move right along here. And as you can see, Beatles stuff. Um, here we go. Confederacy. I said it again. Sorry. I don't know what this Kevin Spacey thing is. They're talking about the Vietnamese War there, uh, the, how the Americans lost the war. Here are the Beatles. I am the walrus. I'm going to have to go back and check that one out because that sounds like that'd be something I'd want to learn about. Um, but anyway, Zappa, I get things on him. Brian Eno, is Jesus a Buddhist? Uh, it could be, you know, why Socrates hated democracy, the nature of nothing, space time. Uh, let's see here, what if you worried every day for six months, you'd probably get cancer. And some people actually for uh, no doubt bring cancer on doing that and uh let's see lbj did kill kennedy fairly certain of that myself there's more vietnam videos john george we get i have a lot of beetle stuff i have a uh, geography of the world the uh, mind here analogy and more a lot more vietnam war stuff here lately coming on my screen then I had a few flashbacks to some old things some little fun projects I was working on they kind of popped up in there and then we get back and see some other uh, let's see replicas UFOs aliens more hidden teachings of the Bible and there's my sort of racer head look I suppose some cosmic symbols I've been working on now back here Talking about existentialism, uh, rock stars, aging, Neil 
DeGrasse Tyson has been fun to listen to this year. John Oliver is always very, unless he gets too political, then I have to kind of tune him out even. And we look at different truths. Andy Kaufman, you know, lately the Spirit Science channel has been pretty interesting, talking about different uh, vital body parts that we didn't know about. And uh, Reiki has been very powerful for me this year. I've been studying Reiki and practicing it, Reiki music. We uh, see different arguments here about global warming threats, 9-11. There are uh, other articles here, Vietnamese. I'm learning to speak a little Vietnamese, practicing that. It's been kind of fun how to have conversations with people. The Sumerians, uh, learning things here about inside the earth, some Edgar Casey predictions. Uh, here we go, more things that are not being actually taught in school, ways to express yourself. Look at advanced civilizations, flashbacks, a few new Vietnamese, some Pink Floyd, secrets of George Bush, who actually was complicit in killing JFK, George H.W. Bush, that is. We know that now. These are Joe Rogan, one of my favorites here, George Carlin, of course, DMT being on the horizon, I think, for myself because I love the effects of uh, DMT. And I think it's been a while since I've done any, so I feel like that's coming on pretty soon. And uh, here we have some articles on sociopath genetic engineering. Uh, why do we boil lobsters? Good question. Why we can't fly a plane into space? Deadliest being on the planet. There's arguments about that, what that is. Here's the thing about Bush again and Hawking's warning to the world, chilling warning. Uh, we see also comparisons of different countries, different powerful weapons, and uh, China preparing for war. Apparently there's war imminent with China and the U.S. And I've cranked out a few videos. I'm remembering my dear, sweet, departed brother left us a little over a year ago. He was a, a great man. And my brother Kevin's still with us, and there's me a few years ago with a beard. And uh, so we've reached the end of the trail here, pretty much. No, there's a few more. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, Zuckerberg here with Rogan. Uh, sex after 60, boring? I don't think so. Hasn't been for me so far. I'm studying some Asian countries right now, trying to learn more. The history, Bertrand Russell, here we go. The sociopath thing again popped up. I guess I haven't watched it yet. Some Star Trek scenes came on recently. They were pretty hilarious. The uh, history of Saudi Arabia. Are you a star seed? I don't know about that. The disturbing truth behind uh, Korean pop music. And this is something called the Ice Castle. It's up uh, near Dillon, Colorado. And there is a short video of it. And we'll see if we can get that to play. Here we are at Ice Castles, and they're sold out. So we can't uh, actually go in there and see what it's all about. I don't know. Looks like it's pretty amazing. This is just the outside part that we're uh, standing at. It's probably about 10 degrees. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up for the year.